Excellent strength and perfect clarity is the 5x5. Five five. Welcome back, everybody. It's David from the 5x5, five five, and it's our premiere show of the Bite Me cast for the fall season. We ended the spring slash summer season um, about a month ago with the ending of True Blood and Teen Wolf, but now we're back at it. Um, wow, uh, Halloween is coming. All the new fall shows are starting, um, and there's a lot of Bite Me horror um zombie things show wise um coming up this fall season vampires um but first up was um well, is sleepy hollow sleepy hollow came out on the 16th so i gave you guys two weeks before i did this but it wasn't because i was going to do it for you guys because i was uh <laughs> i've been lazy so anyhow um sleepy hollow um it comes out i had prepared myself to hate the show and thankfully for my Apple TV, which I talked about on Fanboy Weekly last week, um, I was able to watch the the uh, premiere episode because um, I was at one work working on the sixth or something, and on um, Apple TV uh, for free. So that was kind of cool. But um, but um, sorry about that. <laughs> but I. Um, Happened to catch it, and I like I said, I was I was prepared to hate it. I was prepared to hate it, and I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm not gonna like this one. And I was wrong. I was totally, totally wrong. Uh, ended ended up being very good. Um, the initial episode we see, uh, and don't get it confused with. I guess I need to backtrack a little bit. Um, Sleepy Hollow, you know, it was the story, um, the short story by Washington Irving. Um, it was the uh, struggle um, between Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman in a town called Sleepy Hollow, and that whole. Um, the story and the struggle um but you know and, and this has been done uh before and i totally forgot about the 1999 movie uh that had johnny depp and christina ricci um in it and that was actually good you know they they had turned it kind of on its head and made it really really creepy um but now fox has taken this show and they've done a lot with it as in if you think about um Abraham Lincoln, the vampire, uh, the vampire slayer, or killer. That's Buffy the vampire slayer. Abraham Lincoln, the the vampire killer. I think that's right. If you think about that movie and how they use um, our real life history uh, and the kind of the things you don't see or you don't know, they kind of made it, you know, a little bit more mystical, um, mythical, if you will. And this is what Fox has done with. Um, Sleepy Hollow. They've taken the short story, um, they've updated it, and how they've tied the past to the future, what they've done, they've taken the Ichabod, the Ichabod, excuse me, the Ichabod Crane character, um, who's played by Tom Meissen, I don't know too much about him, um, they, but he does it very well. They, they've taken him from the past, and what we see him, we see him killing um, a Confederate soldier, um, you know, chopping his head off, and then uh, being killed himself. And then, fast forward, he wakes up in our, uh, you know, our time, and um, and then he's thrust into this this new world where there's cars, there's people, black people aren't slaves anymore. Uh, which that's the exchange he had with um, Lieutenant Abby Mills, who is played by Nicole Bahari. And um, so anyhow, and then you see that, and then you see how she first meets um, the headless horseman. That when it's in present time, her her. Um, uh, captain, friend, mentor, um, gets his head chopped off. Uh, but they, they they've done a really good job with the story. They've um, 
I get, I'm trying not to spoil too much if you guys haven't seen it, but it's kind of hard, hard to do. Um, um, the gist of it is he comes back because he's tied to the Headless Horseman, which the head, Headless Horseman, which I'm like, oh, they really, really updated this. Uh, they've tied it to the Four Horsemen of, of the Apocalypse. I'm like, what? You know, what is going on? Um, but like I was saying about how they've, they've used our history, they've put little things that we don't know about our history, or, you know, because we couldn't, we wasn't there. And they've, they've made it mythical, just like they did in um, Abraham Lincoln, the vampire killer. They made it mythical. There's something, there's witches, there's uh, some underlining um allegiance to demons and devils and um and i mean it gets it's funny it, it has all the elements it's funny it has a great storyline and then it, it it has the suspense and the horror you know because the the very first part of the first episode of the proof the pilot i was like did they just do that did that just happen and um so i, I enjoyed that a lot and so the first the pilot um, you know, we, we, they introduce all our characters. They get the background. You know, Ichabod Crane's wife um, makes her appearance through flashbacks and through um, talking to him through his dreams. Um, the the character played by I think it's Orlando, uh, Orlando Jones, the captain. You know, they they kind of allude to the fact that he has something to do um, with. With what's going on in Sleepy Hollow, the 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 the, um, the 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 headless horseman coming back, and which was crazy. Then then you have the preacher, um, who we seen, and he's, they're probably gonna say he was a descendant, who we seen in a flashback. He, he's a priest. Um, he he's a bad boy. He was he was given it to the headless horseman until he got his head chopped off with the with the little the glimmering. Um, broad axe so i thought that was kind of cool um and then he was trying to find his head if he finds his head then they will be, be able to usher in the four horsemen of apocalypse and then you know they think that ichabod has something to do with the murder which we they you know uh, all signs point to well he's strange he's a stranger he knows too much but he was locked up when the second incident happened um, and she defies orders because she shares with us that she had a, a similar experience with something creepy was the four white um, trees in the wood and then there's a demon and her and her sister passed out this is what Abby uh, was saying and um, and and then he says the four white trees they um they represent the four horsemen of apocalypse and if, if, the, if the headless horseman gets his way i guess his head back th that will usher in the end of the world and that's what we hear from ichabod crane's wife uh in flashbacks and in his dreams and that was pretty much um it ended the first the pilot with um them having the head um and he's he's sleeping the white. I mean, it gets crazy, and and then the one guy gets killed. The uh, the Asian guy, I think it's like I think his last name is Cho, um, John Cho. Yeah, he he gets his head knocked up. But you think he's dead. Um, and then she sees the demon she's seen as a child after his head gets knocked, pretty much knocked off his head. Um, she sees him walking through the mirror and then it, 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 he turns around and he's crashed the mirror. But then in the second episode, they were watching a replay of what happened on the video and you see um, uh, Andy Dunn, which is John Cho, ramming his head into uh, the glass mirror and breaks his neck, which didn't happen. But he's not dead. The demon brings him back to life. This crazy demon with these horns. I'm like, <laughs> they have really done too much um, with uh, this show. Um, but hey, let's take a really, really quick break um, and then we'll finish up our review. Um, thanks you guys for listening. We'll be right back. I never get the flu. My kids don't need more shots. I don't have time. We're all healthy. My asthma's under control. I'm pregnant. I've had the flu. It's not a big deal. My kids are too old the for media flu. is exaggerated. I can fight it naturally. No matter how you build your excuses, the flu can blow your house down. Keep your foundation strong. 
Vaccinate. Learn more at flu.gov. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. You. I had to check something real quick. Um, I actually caught um, Sleepy Hollow, the second episode on Hulu. So, you know, you can always go to Hulu, check out Hulu. It has all the episodes. I think they only give five, and then they're going to wait like a month to do the rest. That's what I don't like. But you can always watch it on Fox's website. It is um, on the Fox Network. Um, and so Mondays. It's so Monday at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. And um, so the second episode, you know, like I said, it showed us um, the Detective Andy um be, uh getting you know ramming his head into the the rumor which didn't happen um but a few things uh before we end today um th- this episode they show there's a witch that he, that's what that's why the demon brought um the dead uh, uh, uh sheriff back to life was because uh he needed him to get the ashes of uh, of the person who burnt, burned this witch so she can help uh, bring on the end of uh, but did we see I can't think of, we didn't see the headless horseman that much in, if at all in the second episode at all um, maybe through some flashbacks it was dealt with, mostly with this witch that um, that they burned um, at, the, at the stake during the witch trials years ago um, and we find out that Ichabod Crane's wife was a witch, uh, which you kind of thought in the beginning. We didn't know who she was, but uh, she was a witch. She was the one that weakened. Um, she was the one that weakened uh, this evil. Um, um, evil witch to, um, to to help them kill her, and so. So she goes back to get all the people who burned her, and it happens to be uh, one person left in town, and then Ashes, which, if you haven't seen it, I'll just say Ashes, so you can see how that all turns out. Um, and then, But they end up getting her, and they blow her up. Um, and then she tells Ichabod that uh, he'll never see his wife again. Um, she's trapped in between worlds and um so now he wants to rescue his wife so that's probably going to be a storyline him getting his wife from this uh plane but is she going to be a ghost or is she going to be a real person um we don't know but she's it looks like she's in the same plane where the demon is wherever the demon is although we have seen him in our physical plane well their physical plane um i don't know so um, I, I'm looking forward to see how that um, transpires. Um, but the one thing um, 
we did get at the very end of the episode um, Abby's mentor, which the one that kept her out of trouble, and they do a little history um, between him and her and why they were so connected. Um, he tells her, don't be scared of what's in 49. And then the last scene we see, um, and we know from the pilot episode and the second episode, she has a sister that they thought was crazy uh, because she was talking about what was going on so much. Um, they put her in a mental, mental institution, um, but then they pan to a hospital where it's like a psych ward and the, the door says 49 and it happens to be... Um, it happens to be Abby's sister and there and she's working out she's getting her whole uh, Nikki the Vampire Slayer on all muscled up and they're giving her um, pills and you know she but which I work in the mental health field and um, <laughs> we have ways to tell if people have swall have swallowed pills, um, and with with the uh, the tech and whoever whoever she, the nurse whoever she did, um, she didn't do it correctly. So I'm like, yeah, that's kind of. But people don't know that people who don't work in the mental health field or work in um, uh, mental health nursing or whatever, they 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 don't know how that actually works because um, when I administer my client's medication, um, I, there's three things I have to do to make sure that the the, uh, the medication has been taken. So that was, she just kind of, she opens her mouth on her tongue or whatever. I'm like, yeah, like that'll happen. But she, 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 after the girl walks away, uh, she spits it out and she crashes on the floor and then she blows it away. And then she's, um, starts doing push-ups um, so now enter the sister that we've heard about um, and, and during the flashbacks and during talks between Abby and Ichabod Crane um, so there's gonna be a couple there's there are three storylines now there's the well, four um, what's the uh, the chief what's uh, how is he involved um, you have um, oh, what's more the Ichabod, oh, no Ichabod getting his wife back from this kind of astral plane um, the sister who of uh, Abby who, who they thought that was crazy but she really wasn't and um, the four horsemen of apocalypse so uh, they, they have enough so i hope i hope fox gives this um, story a chance to show a chance I, i'm enjoying it it makes a great addition to um our bite me cast um but it comes on mondays um and a week from so we have another another episode tomorrow so i'll probably watch it tuesday or wednesday um and then next week Today is Sunday. Next week, uh, the originals will be back. So uh, we get a lot of things to talk about, and it's you know it's Halloween, Halloween month. So what are you guys doing for Halloween? Uh, I think I'm going to help with my my nephew's Halloween party. I think it's what I'm going to do. Um, not sure. Um, it'd probably be if I do a, if I do an episode if I do a costume, it'll probably be superhero esque it won't be scary or i might do a zombie i thought about that they're having um uh, if you listen to uh fanboy weekly i talked about a couple weeks ago um halloween comic fest is coming up um on um, the 26th and the 27th, and if you go to the website at HalloweenComicFest.net.com, um, there is a contest, a, co a costume contest, but you have to go to your local comic book store to get um, the button to take the picture, and you can check, listen to that show. Um, a couple of shout outs. One thanks to Dwayne Hadley from the Dwayne Hadley Show for um, supporting me, and also I'm supporting him as well. He has a great show. I just have I just like listening to it because this comes off, you know, just just um, genuine. I guess that's that's what that's what I'm saying. Genuine. He's a genuine guy. So check out the Dwayne Hadley Show on Spreaker. Um, Check, uh, I'm going to try to get my friend Ken Boggle from Blog Talk Radio. I'm going to try to get him to come because he's into spookiness and he just went to the Scare Fest. I listened to his show on Blog Talk Radio the other day. Give him a listen. Also, always a supporter of the show, Off Limits. Uh, my Kyle class from Off Limits. Um, thank you guys for listening. We'll be back next Sunday, hopefully, uh, if we can do this weekly. Um, it's been the Bite Me Cast. I've had fun. Check out Sleepy Hollow. We'll see See you next time. Book at the 5 by 5 or tweet us at the 5 by 5 or go to Recycle Block Talk for past shows. 
Thanks for tuning in.